Our third presenter today is Julianne Reinecke. Her title, Three Sheets to the Wind, The Jolly Jack Tar and British Masculinity in the 18th Century. Today, we have an ideal image of service members peacefully reintegrating into society. But this ideal is contrasted with real images of some veterans acting violently. Examples include mass shootings, domestic violence, and suicide. Our society struggles with the question, how do service members fit back into society after war? We can gain insight into this situation because the exact same thing was happening in the 18th century with British sailors. Much historical work has been done on what life was like at sea for these sailors, commonly called the tar because they were covered head to toe in tar as a waterproofing method. However, this historical work does not help us understand citizens' anxiety over how these sailors, who lived a life of unimaginable violence, would be able to fit back into the peaceful society. I meld the historical work with cultural texts like novels, songs, plays, and images as a way to understand how sailors were represented. I have discovered two dominant representations of how sailors in the 18th century were portrayed as either supporting the home front or violently disrupting it. In the image on the left, we see a young, handsome sailor returning home and bringing wealth to a destitute family. The image on the right, however, shows drunken sailors busting up a brothel, burning the prostitutes' possessions, and of course, flinging cats out of windows. These representations are incredibly important because they affected how sailors saw themselves as either patriots or degenerates. Moreover, these representations had material consequences as they affected how much people were willing to support disabled sailors after war. I argue that Tobias Smollett, a sailor turned novelist, tried to resolve this tension between reintegration and disruption through his popular character named Tom Bowling. Bowling is a sailor who protects the home front by disrupting it. The image at the bottom shows Tom Bowling, like a Robin Hood figure, disrupting the social order by protecting the weak from the powerful. Thus, Bowling portrays a model in which sailors do not have to reintegrate. Instead, they can carve out a new niche for themselves. Unfortunately, there is no such thing as the modern Tom Bowling. My work suggests that veterans need a figure like him to imagine new ways of fitting into society, and this figure should come from veterans themselves. Thank you.